trying to attack Romeo, and uh, they shoot bullets at him and somehow he stops them. And at that moment, he has this shovel and this uh, deep understanding of Hashem. He closes his eyes, and he's in this deep thought process. And when he opens up his eyes, he doesn't see three robot agents in front of him. Instead, he sees these numbers and this coding for what this world, the matrix, what the world is made of. So he sees beyond this physical illusion around him, and he's able to see these numbers and this coding. For those of you who haven't seen The Matrix, you're probably so lost right now. You have no idea what I'm talking about. But hopefully, Rabbi, hopefully after the Torah aspect, the more important part of the Torah, you'll understand what I'm talking about. So, there's a Pasuk in Shemot, it's Paraka, Pasuk Yedale. Mechola Amro Eim Asakobos, the Ace Kola Shogar, Nesahar, Ashin, Ayara Amo Yanu, Yanu Merechobi. So, B'nai Shola just received the Asar Sadibros from Hashem. And the Pasuk is telling us, with the help of Rashi, we understand. B'nai Shal sees the Kobos, they see what is generally heard, they see Hashem's voice, is what Rashi tells us. But if Chaim Belushner has a very nice idea on this, he says, for all of us, we see the physical around us, we see the physical presence around us, but when we want to see the spiritual around us, we can't really see it. We can try to hear it, we can strive to reach a spiritual level, but we can't necessarily see spiritual around us in our everyday lives. But Kalani Shal was on such a level that they were able to see beyond the physical surroundings around them, and they were able to see the spiritual as well as the physical. And Lahavdil, 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 like Rabbi Neo in the hallway, was able to see past these agents, he was able to see beyond the physical illusion and see them to a new level, what they really were. So too, the Jews saw physical, but they could see the spiritual in our everyday lives. Um, just another idea on Mata Torah, the Ramban in Devorim and Perek Dalab Pesachet, Ramban Al Torah, talks about we have Shisha Zahiro, six things we're supposed to um, say and remember every day. One of them is Mata Torah. The Ramban says it's crucial not only to remember Mata Torah, but how we receive the Torah. Not just that we got the Torah from Hashem, but how we received it. Why is that so important? Because one of the ways we received it, you're able to see the cause. You're able to see the spiritual. And Ramban saying we should remember in our everyday lives this level of not only just going around and seeing the physical around us, but to try to see the spiritual in our everyday lives. Or Soloveitchik used to famously say that a man could go through this world and see a sunset and think of Zaman and Fermenicha. He could see a spring and think of uh, whether it's a kosher or or not. So it's possible to, to live our daily lives and not just see the physical around us and try to reach a new level and see the spiritual. Hopefully we can all work on this and it'll help us in our goal session.